proper Turkana woman. <laughs> I'm being turned into a proper Turkana woman. And today we are in Kakepu's village at the shores of the mighty, the glorious, the incredible Lake Trukana. As you can see, there's a lot of activity going on behind me. And today we're going to show you all about the Trukana culture. This is the one video that you've been waiting for all your life. Come with me and let's enjoy Trukana together. <laughs> okay, so guys, you're heading over to the cow shed, or is it the goat shed? <laughs> Kiangazi. <laughs> 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 Serikali me Five wives. Yeah. Guys, he has five yeah, wives. Yeah. Five wives and the proposed number six. <laughs> he's proposing <laughs> he's proposing to Nancy. His first wife is Nancy. And this is also Nancy. He wants her. He wants to marry her. And then there have been two Nancy. Yeah. Number one Nancy and number last Nancy. <laughs> so now we are going to the second wife's uh, homestead. <laughs> and the goats that we just released there from the first wife. So this is the second wife. I love you, baby. Number Billy, I'm going to Number? Number two. Eh. Seven. Seven. Hey, yeah, 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 guys. The wife number two has seven kids. <laughs> the first wife has nine kids. Mama, hey, mama. Alienda kwa nduku yake. Ah, yuko. Ayuko. Ah. Toto yake. Okay. Habari? 
nilikuwa hata siku nyingine nilikuja na wageni kwa wake eh nilikuwa nipata mimba lakini ile siku ya kujifungua nilikuwa shida oh mpaka kwa hospitali alifanywa operation na polodwa oh huyu msichana si alikuja hata mtoto yake ndio huyu oh msichana mtoto wako salama eh wako salama oh akaribuni asante hii mama ni yetu ah melala ni yangu hii ni nyumba yako eh na huyu mama hii hapa okay so this is this is this is his his house and his second wife right second wife and uh, his house this is the main, main house in your main house this is the main house alafu hii nayo ni ni pale hii sisi wanaume na ninyi wa mama tunaketi tuongee ah maji ya kuongea eh tutaonesha wewe huko oh okay and this is a house where they have meetings they want to discuss something that's what they sit basically sort of like a living room or a sitting room ah Wow. Iko mpaka hii. Aha, hii ni nini hii? Hii ni ile anansi nilikuwa nataka kufaa. Ah, hii ni nguo? Eh, ni ngozi. Ah, ni ngozi ya mbusi. A... Mama anafaa hapa. Ama anafunga kwa kiuno? Eh. Hey. Ah, this is hey. this is a dress made of cow cow hide. Hmm. Anaf, like a skirt, unafunga kama kwa kiuno, inakuwa skirt. Ngine unafaa hmm. ile ndogo, alafu unafaa yeye. Hey. <laughs> This guy is hilarious. This guy is hilarious. Aha, this is a good. This is a good. Ndani unaweka maziwa na Watafanya huko? Oh, haya. Sawa. So this is a skirt. He's saying what he's saying. He's saying you need to put on your underwear. And then put this on top. Wow, I'd like to see. Mama, mama analala na yeye kama hako kwake tu. Kama analala naona mzee. Eh, you too. Yes, man, kabla sikati hajakuja. So this is what the women used to wear and sleep before that's what he's saying before yeah. before skirts mm. you just what they just wore this and slept wow mm. interesting so, mm. Mm. and it's very cool in here it's very cool can you see the inside of the house how they build them yeah. wife number 2 wife number 4 number 4 wife number 4 yeah. and that's that's a house where we're headed to and then he told us something funny he said that the 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 other wives go to wife number one to like uh, spend time and uh, pass some time and talk but evening time everybody has to take the husband back to the house to fulfill their wifely duties <laughs> this guy is hilarious he is hilarious i love it here so this is uh, the fourth compound so up and mm -hmm. this is a goat shed or cow shed is it cow shed for if you don't have goats really? Is it cow shed if you have, don't have cow shed? Really? Ah, na ile pale ndani ya nini? Hiyo ndogo pia, pia watoto. Ya watoto wa mbuzi? Ah. So here this is where the kids stay. The the baby goats they call kids, right? So that's where they stay and then the the big goats they stay in here. Wow. Okay. So that's what it looks like from the inside a lot of uh, Pellets from the goat. Hello. <laughs> Very good. And then the body. <laughs> and then this is the homestead. Pala iko nini? Pala iko nini? Bafu. Bafu. Ah. Ah. Okay. Watch kidogo. This is a bathroom right here. This is a bathroom. Where they take a shower. That is a bathroom. It's really cool in here. The 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 reeds that they use, they make it they make it very cool. This reeds. Once it's hot outside, but once you go inside, the temperature drastically drops. Very cool. And then here we have the houses. Okay, this is the kitchen. This is the kitchen here. So if you want to cook, this is where you do, you do all your cooking. The utensils are over there. There you go. If you can see here, the sticks are a little bit dark because of all the smoke that's coming from the, uh, what's this called? The fireplace, I think. That's coming from the fireplace. And then we have jerry cans that they used to 
fetch water also in very cool in here again <laughs> so this is a man's house this is this is his house so apa ni wewe tu peke yako unaka wewe na mama peke yako so only the the wife and him can stay in this house only the two of them uh tunaweza ingia okay so this is what it's like very cool as well alafu sasa ile anataka kulala nalalia mkeka Mm, then this is how how they make the bed Aha uh -huh. Okay, I'm just going to take lala up and down lala. This is where That's at an ancient school gene. Eh. Acha bana na lodge. Ah. Na nyorosa net. Ah, hi mosquito net. Eh. Ah, okay. So this is where they sleep. That we have the pillows there and then the mosquito net over there. And it's really cool in here. It's very cool. It's amazing what they've done with the roofing that makes it so 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 cool. So only the wife and the husband can stay here. Ah. 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 Okay, so that's how they sit when they have something to discuss about the home. That's how they sit. Wow. Oh. It's amazing. Ah, uh, imtoto hii ni mtoto yenu. Yake ya kwanza. Ah, yake ya kwanza. Ah, this is the first born for the for wife number 4. Ah, ako na watoto ngapi? Mbili. Mbili. Ah, she only has two kids and they put what? Fat. Mm. Oh, cooking oil. Eh, hey, yuko mafuta ndani ya kukulia. Mafuta ya kukulia hii mafuta ina chinja kondo hapa tunaweka mafuta. Oh. Oh, the fatty 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 meat from the goat goes in here. Mm. And then alafu hiyo mafuta unatumia kufanya nini? Unakulia naye. Kukula tu. Eh. Ah. Unaweka kwa Hata sasa iko. Ah. Oh, look. Can you see? Eh, leta una leta kivuli. Eh, tupudo ni kalapta. Aya. What's this one for? Hii ni ya kazi gani? Hii ni mafuta. Tunaweka mafuta tu kwa na kukulia. Ah. Ndani iko mafuta. There is some There is some uh, fat inside. So this fat he said it comes from the meaty meaty part of the goat. That's what when they slaughter goat they put the fat in here and then they use it to when they cook food they put it inside to flavor the food to make the food have more flavor. Alafu hii umetengeneza na nini? What is it? Meat ya mchonga alafu naweka ngozi ya ngombe. Ah. So this is wood. They carved uh, it out of wood and then here they use cowhide. Cowhide uh, to make the lid and also this part. Alafu hii mkiweka mafuta hapa unaweka siku ngapi kabla hajaribika? Hata maalisa hata mwezi mbili. Ha! So the, he says the the, the fat that here can stay up to two months without going without going bad. Ha! Mwezi mbili alafu unaweka kwa nyumba na hakuna na hapana haribika. Ha! Wow! This is amazing. This is amazing technology guys. Look at that. Wow. This is amazing. Eh, naona iko mafuta. Look my hand. My hand. Then guys, we have something else that is showing us here. Ah, uh, sasa hii ni nini? What's this? Ah, okay. So this is what they use when they're milking. Um uh, when they're milking the mil the milk goes in here. Ah, alafu Alafu hii hii ukikamua Ah uh, unaacha maziwa hapo ama inabadilisha na kupeleka mahali kingine? Aha. Ah. Ndio tunaonesha huko alafu nafanywa hivi. Ah, okay. Ya kukamua mbuzi. Hata hii pia ni ya kukamua mbuzi. So these two, the one she is holding and this one they're both used for uh, milking the goats and then they they, they transfer the milk Mama into a jerry can. Ah, okay. Yeah. So Ah, this so the big one is for them the lady of the house the the woman and this one is for the young girls when they're milking they use the they use this one ah na hii imetengenezwa na nini miti tu hata hii ni miti tu ah even this one is made out of carved wood they've carved wood from this one ah hata hii mama maziwa hapana haribika Ah na hapa na hapa hapa ni kuchoma umechoma ku kurembesha yeah the bandit to make it uh, pretty baada hapo mhm 
hiyo masua tunamwaga hapa aha baada ni nini so they milk here and then they pour when the milk is here they pour it ah tunaona kwa etio ni kuna kitu etio etio tunafika hivi paka nakuwa masua mala tunamwaga hapa oh etio what etio is a gourd oh okay hakuna etio hapa Okay, utanionyesha huko nyingine. So after milking, they put the uh, they put the milk into a gourd. Natingisha. And then they shake they shake the milk, it becomes sour milk. And then they put it they put it in, in here. Alafu hii ni ya kukunyia? Aha, so they just transfer the milk here and then they use it they use this to serve into the kwa kikombe unaweka kwa kikombe ama unaweka api ah, okay there is another container where they put after putting the milk here there is another container where they transfer it into and then they drink it from wow that is amazing hata hii ni mbao tu ni mbao tu imechonga yeah even this one is just made it's just made from wood carving hii na hii ile za tunakula mbusi tunafika mazinji tunafika nyama boil hii tunakunyia na hii sufu. Ah. Ana ume wala na kitu kwa miti yao. Ah, okay. So when they when they start a god and they make soup from the god, they also use this to drink a uh, soup from from uh, from this container. Wow. That is amazing. <laughs> wow, okay. As you can see guys it's so dry there's no grass for the goats so they have to feed them they have to feed them some um, some maize some maize for them to survive you can can you hear them chewing i can hear them cracking <laughs> cracking the the maize because it's so dry i can hear them actually cracking it <clears throat> Okay, there is this sound that is making to call the goats. Fanya yog. Yeah. The sound is making. Can you hear that? He's making that sound and the goats are just following him. It's amazing. <laughs> wow. Zuri. Ejok. Ejok. Ejok.
Okay, so what's going on now? Uh, okay, so now they're getting ready to slaughter the goat, right? So these leaves 